Yo, it's Friday, which means another weekend of college football is upon us. On tomorrow, so many great games. And man, after last weekend, y'all have flooded, flooded my inbox with questions on my Instagram. You know I'm going to try to answer them to the best of my ability because that's what we do. I'm a fan, not an analyst. Fanalist is on right now. Turn it all the way up. Although both of these teams are 2-0, this will be their first Power 5 matchup for either team. And right now, Kansas State is just, to me, they're playing faster. They're playing stronger. I like their defensive line. Give me Kansas State in this one over Missouri. Oh, we're going to find out exactly what the dogs of Starkville are talking about when LSU comes to town this weekend. LSU thumped them uh, last year in Baton Rouge. Uh, they got to come holler at the Cowbells this year, though. But I think LSU will be ready. It's slightly better than Mississippi State. Give me LSU in this one. So no real question. Just Arkansas with a few question marks. All right, got you. But uh, I don't think Arkansas has any question marks at the quarterback position. Uh, that's where they shine. And they got BYU coming to town this weekend, making that long trip from the West Coast. BYU is always a tough opponent. Uh, but I think at home with that quarterback, give me Arkansas in this one. It is only week two, and I don't have a surprise team. I have two surprise teams uh, out of Florida. Florida State and Miami, they have been looking really, really good early in the season. And I don't think it's too early to go ahead and circle November 11th on your calendar when those two going to meet. But shout out to the Seminoles and the Hurricanes, man. They look pretty good so far. Bama is traveling down to Tampa to face South Florida. If they get up big, as you know, Vegas is saying there are, then I think you would definitely see a second quarter back, maybe a third come in by third quarter, mid to late. But if it's a close game somehow, uh, no, I think they're going to stick with the starter and try to get out of there with a W. I looked up and down the entire schedule and I didn't really see anything that I felt might be an upset, but there is a game I'm going to be watching and I'm sure a lot of other people are. Colorado versus Colorado State. Oh, this one is shaping up to be amazing. It's going to be a late game here on the East Coast, uh, but I'll be why. I don't think the state of Colorado has had this much attention since they legalized, so uh, this is going to be a good one. Crazy to think that it's been 20 years since Tennessee has been able to go into Gainesville and get a win. You got some players on both teams that weren't even alive in 2003, the last time they won down there. But this is a different Tennessee. Uh, and Florida is not going to make it easy for them, but I believe Tennessee has the firepower to go ahead and end that streak this year down in the swamp. I wouldn't say overrated. I mean, Georgia is still the king of the hill right now. And yeah, some of our big dogs have taken some out of conference L's, but you still looking at a lot of guys that are going to play uh, in the NFL in the upcoming Sunday. So they got some team issues they got to work out, but it's only week three. And I think the SEC will be just fine. Very quick answer. No, uh, <laughs> I think Georgia has been you know, licking their chops, waiting on some SEC competition to come into Athens. They got their first four games at home in Athens. Uh, they're just looking unstoppable again this year. South Carolina's just next on the menu. No, they will not upset Georgia. I tweeted or X'd during the game that uh, I know Jalen Milrow had a rough night, but I still saw the vision. Uh, shout out to uh, Matt Wyatt on YouTube. He's got a great video where he broke down the film and the progressions from the Bama and Texas game. Go check that out on YouTube. Uh, but the, the breakdown confirmed what I thought. There were some issues with the lines, some issues with him reading the coverage. But when he got time, he made some great plays with his feet. He made some great plays. I think if he had a good week of practice, Jalen Milrow is still the guy right now for Alabama. Had so much fun answering you guys' questions directly. I mean directly from my Instagram DM. So if you want to get your question in, you got to follow me on IG. Listen, all I do is watch a lot of football, and I try to answer your questions to the best of my ability. Excited to watch the games tomorrow. I hope you are too. Comedian Funny Man, I'm just a fan, not an analyst. Fanalist. Let's do it again next Friday.